All right, so we have now um, done everything for this class except for a final exam. Your final exam is scheduled for Wednesday because that was the date that um, we would have taken it in class, uh, but it will be available through Thursday, so you'll have about a 48 hour period of time to tackle it. Um, it is worth uh, 200 points and it is cumulative. Um, although I will not be asking you anything um, before the integumentary system. So we're just going to do cumulative for the body systems and not for the stuff we did before body systems, okay? Um, it will be the same proportion of questions between multiple choice and short answer, um, but I will be doubling them. So there will be 80 multiple choice questions and uh, 10 short answer questions. Um, so the questions themselves will be worth the same number of points as they were last time. You'll be given more time to take the exam um, to make up for that. And you will also be allowed to use your um, notes and lecture materials to help you answer the questions. Um, keep in mind that, of course, you do still need to study ahead of time because um, if you have to look up every single question, you still won't have enough time. And the short answer questions uh, will need to be answered in your own words because just like they have been, um, they're not things you can just search because um, while well, I'm happy for you to refer back to your notes for this round, since we're covering so much material, um, I still want you to be able to put it together um, yourself and not be tempted to um, perhaps copy something that's already available. So there, they won't be questions that you can just copy answers to. Um, I think that is everything on the logistics. Uh, in the meantime, I'll be grading your last exam. I will be calculating out um, your participation points and stuff and putting that in. Uh, and then by the time you finish your final exam, I'll just grade that and then the final grades will be submitted uh, within the next week. And um, at that point, we'll actually be done with the semester. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you, uh, which means that you need to ask me questions. So who has questions about the logistics or the materials pertaining to the final exam? Just start typing if you've got questions. Um, let's see, tips for how to study for it. So the way that um, I think makes sense is to um, split it up by system and then um, start with the systems that we spent more time on. So like the circulatory system and the nervous system where there were multiple chapters covering, the, um, covering it uh, are definitely going to be um, you know, more questions involved. And um, I think otherwise you just kind of want to look at it in a very organized fashion. So everything that we covered kind of fell into a couple of different categories. So we either were learning about the anatomy, we were learning about the physiology, um, or we were learning about the regulation of the physiology. Um, and if you break it down into those three categories and kind of look at, well, what was all the anatomy of this system and what were the different physiology things and then what were the regulatory things 
for each of those, you know, um, physiological things we learn. Um, to me, that makes sense because it keeps you very organized. And, um, you know, I think it's important to kind of touch on everything and just be aware of all of the material and um, make sure that it is uh, well organized so that you can easily access um, information if you're if you're not quite sure on the details as you go through the test. Um, no, it's going to be set up exactly the same as the last one or all of the other ones we've been doing online. So it's going to be one question at a time. You won't be able to go back to it. So make sure you're answering them as you go. And um, the multiple choice should all occur first, and then you should get the short answer at the end. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Um, if you're concerned that that's not going to be enough time, then um, please, please message me uh, because it's just a doubling of the time that I've given you for the other exams. Okay, so if, if you have concerns, just um, email me and we can we can talk about it. So the test will be available from Wednesday morning um, until Thursday night. So you can access it at any point uh, within that time window. Any other questions?
you're going to study everything from the integumentary system through the reproductive system. So you don't have to do the first four chapters, which are not body systems. Right, does anybody else have questions? No, I was not planning on dropping your lowest grade. That would have been in the syllabus. Your grade will be a combination of your exam scores and your participation points. Um, if, if everybody's grades are low, I will curve your final grade, um, but I don't drop points or anything like that. All right, if nobody else has questions, um, I am available by email anytime. Um, obviously, not necessarily going to get back to you in the middle of the night or anything, but um, please email me if you have questions about the material, about the logistics, um, anything else that you have concerns about. And um, hope everybody uh, has some time to study and good luck, and uh, hopefully um, 
you know, future semesters will go more smoothly than this one did. All right. 